Good morning once again, people of God. We thank God for being alive this beautiful morning. And today, once again, in our devotion, we want to reflect on the theme, love your enemies. Yes, love your enemies. And our text will be taken from the book of Matthew, the chapter 5. We we'll read the verse 43 through to the verse 44. And it says that you have heard that it was said, Love your neighbor and hate your enemy. The 44 says, But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Let me add the verse 50, 45, which also says that, that you may be sons of your Father in heaven. That is the A. Beloved in Christ, this morning the Lord is reminding us one thing, that we should love our enemies and pray for them. This seems difficult. Yes, it seems so. Because our human understanding is where the verse 43 stands. That we love those who love us and hate those who hate us. That is a human principle. But as Christians, we have been commanded to do, to love our enemies and to pray for them. And our Lord Jesus Christ set this example for us. That even though we were once sinners, Christ came to show us love. To die for us. To redeem us. And that is also expected of us as Christians. That as people may persecute us, people may hate us, people may not like us, people may be doing a lot of things against us. We have been encouraged this morning. There is no more eye for an eye, but this time we have to pray for them. This time we have to intercede for them. This time, for their love's sake, we need not to kill them, but to stand in the gap for them, that the message of God will reach them. I don't know who is disturbing your life this morning. I don't know who wants your downfall this morning. I don't know who has been doing all they can to take your joy or your happiness away from you. Beloved in Christ, the Bible is telling us this morning that we should pray for such people. We should continue to intercede for them that the Lord will also visit them and give, us, give them the light that he has given us to save them from that their sinful ways and not for them to die in them. We have been commanded this morning. And as we reflect through it throughout the day, He says we should love them by praying for them. By praying for them. Interceding for them. Asking for mercy for them. Asking for deliverance for them. So that together, they may one day receive repentance and receive grace. So that together, we may together worship the Most High God. Love your enemy. Pray for your enemy. This is a command from our Lord Jesus Christ, who has already set the peace for us. And he has expected us to follow suit. As he was hung on the cross, he prayed to the Father, Father, forgive them. Father, forgive them. And that should be our prayer also as Christians. If we have the Spirit of God in us, if we don't have the Spirit of God, then it will be difficult. If we represent ourselves as mere men, then it will be difficult. But if we have the same Spirit that raised Jesus Christ from death in us, the Holy Spirit, then it is possible that we pray for our enemies as been commanded by the scripture this morning to us. 
Let us be strong. It is possible. Let us have faith. It is possible. Let us give it a try. Let us put away pain and intercede that the Lord will have mercy on those who hate us. Thank you very much. And it's our prayer that the Lord will keep us this day. Give us the strength to stand in the gap even for our enemies. God bless you and have a blessed day. Amen.